Well, here we are back at Mark Twain Lake, getting ready to rig it all up. Big bro is back. We got Valerie, where'd she go? There she is. Welcome to the lake. <laughs> In this video, we continue our learning to sail on a McGregor 26X. Fair warning, this one is kinda long, but for our own educational purposes and entertainment, that's just gonna happen. If you enjoy watching people make mistakes and talking trash, here we go. So daddy had a pontoon boat back in the day, and Johnny and I had a little couple of different ski boats way many, many years ago. We used to come to this lake after work, run out, catch a couple of waves on the old skis, pro slalom style. Just kidding, not pro. But yeah, this is it. Welcome to Mark Twain Lake. And after going on a few ocean adventures, it's a lot smaller than we remember 20 years ago. Oh, you're gonna give me curbside service, not even make me jump this time, huh? Yeah, the steering wheel. Remember we talked about moving where this is? My hand just hit it. Yeah, okay, you're in. I'm, I'm not on, in yet. I'm trying to figure out a safe way to get it. I'm gonna have to come on the front. We're in. <laughs> so I did not put water in the ballast. Yeah, I want to try something. If that's all right. I want to see if I can get it on plane this time. I say it's the only way it'll work. When we're skiing behind a sailboat. We're gonna try something. We're gonna see how fast we can get it to go today. The prop we're currently running on this Yamaha 50 is a 14 inch 11 pitch and the RPM is not showing over 3000 which we think may be calibrated incorrectly and we're getting around 13 miles per hour. Now later we've got moved to a 9 pitch and we think it got to run a little bit better. We will cover that in a future video. closest we've come so far. We don't have any instruments installed yet, so we have no idea how fast we're going, but uh, yeah. So we got the Highway 107 boat ramp right over here. And then I think the Florida Beach is what, no, that's Florida Beach right yeah. over here. And there's the 107 boat ramp. Got a little turned around and we can go downstairs. Valerie, how do you like the boat? I love it. It feels great. Have you ever sailed before? No. Okay, we don't really know what we're doing either, so we're all in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I can see the sails. Uh, we don't have the, hang on. We don't have the main sheet even on. It's not on the main sheet. Lock and tackle. So many things. I know, man. So much work for just one day worth of fun. We need to stay out on it for a while. Maybe she's basically our safety line. Huh? Maybe she's basically the rear safety line. Yeah. Triscuits. Triscuits. Triscuits.
gloves and I'll let you hoist this sucker. What do we call it? Topping left. Is that all right? We're getting ready to, we're getting ready to turn. I'm at the motor back up. Well, I think the boom detects will be raised for you to pull it the rest of the way up. Ah, shit. Yeah, something's not right there. That reeking line. I might have to motor up because we're getting we're getting towards the shallows. Lanes up the sides, they'll go. It's just doing a shitty job. When you don't have your main sheet tight, uh, I'm really thinking the jib sheet, if I would ease out the jib, it would shoot more of a wind that I still think we need to ease the jib. We don't have center board down yet. Blowing through the jib, exiting the sail here, and then so I'm creating lift, going kind of where I want to go. Yeah, see what this did? Ah, it's better. The more the more the pain, the more the pain. Yeah, that's a good one. I honestly wish that. That car that the jib sheet's running through. Right now, I kind of wish it was further out the distance. I don't know what I say. It feels to me like right now, going upwind like this, that car ought to be further back, so we get the clue down out here further. Follow me. Oh, yeah. See, we 
would get more of a wing there. Yeah. Well, that's where we had them before, and then we moved them forward. Well, that was going downwind. We moved them forward so we could create a scoop. Yeah, we're getting more forward over there now. Crack cam. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some forward motion now, buddy. Definitely didn't have the main tide enough last time we were going upwind, but like I was saying, it was we had too much gusting. We couldn't if we pulled it to center where it needed to be, it was gonna blow us right over. The good footage is always when you're standing up there in the mast. And here comes the storms. No, not like the Titanic. Bite your tongue. Sure, this is pretty much just set. Uh, still, like, still moving forward, but not much. So maybe I should have told my kids where I'm headed today. Um. You don't have to worry about getting lost at sea. Yeah, like I said, there's cushions if you don't want to have marks all over your ass when you stand up. No, I just realized I'm sitting on the rope. I mean, nobody likes waffle ass on YouTube. So, one thing I've been hankering to do is stand up by the mast. I saying I have yet to do that. Before the day's over, I want to do that. All right, Valerie. Yes. You ready to go up through that middle hall? And... Oh yeah, you got to video camera work. Thank you. Just hold the handle, crawl through the boat, go up there, up through the hole. And... I don't know how to do that. See, I wish we had a windicator. Just tells the speed of the wind, right? Just wind, speed, and I, direction. Honestly, I think, like you said, just order one off of freaking Amazon that you put on the top of your house that, that just spins around. That's all they are. It's pretty expensive. I mean, the ones that link to the 
Yeah, but I'm saying one just the, for cheapness right, right now. Yeah, but the, the Ray Marine ones that link to the multifunction display are kind of expensive, which is just silly to me. But I guess they're thinking, hey, sailors got money, right? I guess. Oh, aren't they just adorable up there, little losers? So yeah, they were saying, the forecast was saying wind out of the south, about 10 miles an hour today. Yeah, I'd say it's gusting a little bit up to 12 to 15, maybe. But it's a nice change. First two times we went out, it was kind of hectic in Tampa. We were having 20 mile an hour gusts. Last time we were out here, we were definitely between 15 and 20 all day, except for when we were trying to go back home and it was dropping to zero and then right back to 15. But hey. It's nice to take it easy. Got full main up, so that's a plus. This does something. See this? What is that? Oh yeah. But how do you make it stay that way? I don't know. Sorry about that. Now we're just turning circles. Why are you spinning it? I'm not spinning it. I just, with. <laughs> it's kind of does its own thing when it don't have control over enough forward motion. There's no rudder control. Remember. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this down. Yes. I'm gonna shut this so I can walk on it. Anyway, so I'll put the main down because it's getting a little gusty. There's uh, threats of thunderstorms today, so you know, might have one blown in. We'll see. Put the lightning rod up though. Lightning rod is definitely up. Well, looks like we're going to do a marina adventure today, try to see them all. Just kidding. We do want to go to Blackjack, but we're stopping in at Indian Creek just for a second. You guys some lunch. It is like 12 something. Bacon cheese for bacon cheeseburger from Indian Creek. It's my first food specimen here. Let's see if it's any good. Oh, 28, that's a <clears throat> Yeah, pretty good. Nice job, Indian Creek. So far, so good. So, yep, this is Indian Creek. A lot of pontoons on the old Missouri waters. Nice little fuel dock action. Well, this video's already gotten pretty long, so I think we're gonna make a part two. In part two, we sail on over to Blackjack Marina and meet up with a couple of legends. Break it out. <laughs> <laughs>